Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel admin panel development tutorial for beginners and this is our part 9. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about assets file linking to our plate files. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel admin panel development tutorial. In our previous video session means in part number 8, we have done the settings for parent layout. So if you go to editor, so basically guys this is the parent layout that we have made to extend to our blade files and inside this file we have separated something called a styles file, something called the dynamic contents and also the scripts file for the footer section. So all the things we have separated and stored inside this layouts folder inside this file called footer, header, left sidebar, scripts and styles. All these files contains all the different codes of this layout section. So if we back to browser, this is the admin panel so far we have implemented and this is a free template called admin LTE theme. And also guys, we have committed all the code to this GitHub repository. You can download all the codes from here. So if I scroll down, here we have committed 6. So if we click on that, so inside this you have find actually all the commits we have done according to that date. So this was our last commit which basically indicates about the parent blade template settings. Okay, so back to editor. Now what we are going to do inside this video session, basically inside this parent layout we have included two files. First of all, for the styles file, this basically contains all the CSS files. So if I open this file called admin.layouts means admin.layouts.styles.blade.php and this is the file. So if I open this file, this file basically contains all the styles sheets file for this admin panel and also we have one more file which basically contains all the scripts so if I open this file and this is file something here and it contains all the JavaScript files now inside these two files called styles and scripts we are going to use some of the blade functions which actually includes all these files properly so what are those functions so if we back to slide here we have multiple options to attach our assets file but I have written some of basic two functions only to use into our blade files. First of all we will discuss about this URL function. Inside this URL and, and this is the syntax to use something called our URL and this is the path of our asset file. And this is another alternative syntax we can use to attach our assets file. So back to editor. Suppose we are going to attach this file. So if I cut this path, this is only path back to slide and what basically what we will do by using this URL function. Suppose let's say that this is example purpose and we have path. So how can we attach that? So this is only the syntax URL inside single quotes. We have to put our path and this is the path. So I am going to copy this example just I want to do this copy back to editor and replace with that. So this is the syntax to attach our assets file by using this URL it is a blade function. Again if suppose we want to attach with this also so I have to just copy this paste it here and also at the last this is the thing that we have attached okay so suppose we if we save this file back to browser reload this page and now if we go to the source code so let's say view page source inside this file as we can see that all these files without URL function does not have this path like HTTP and this is our localhost this is port and this is the file path so if I click on this file as we can see that this is the path actually this file resides at this and also these are the files without the URL function and among these methods this is the proper way to attach our access file either using our blade function called URL. Now back to editor. Now we are going to replace all these access file by using this URL function. So again I am going to copy this last section so copy this and paste it here 
we have attached with one more file so these are for the CSS file so if I copy this URL go to a scripts file and also I am going to paste it here so paste it that also we can use this function with our scripts file so save this file go to browser reload this page now these are the CSS files so if I go to the footer section here we have attached with JS files also so basically guys this is the first way to attach our SS file using called URL function back to slide we have another function to use in our blade templates called asset this is also used to attach our assets file and this is the syntax only remember we have to replace this URL instead of this assets function all remains unchanged so let me say that for example if I put example I'm going to copy this path let me say that this is the syntax to use called asset inside this asset and this is the path okay so this is the way to use this assets function and also this is the alternative syntax so we are going to use this assets function by using the alternative symbol and also you can use this also by using this URL function so back to editor let me say that we are going to attach this style file so I'm going to attach this add me lt dot me dot CSS so if I cut this file from here and also if I reload this page as we can see that now this layout has been distorted by removing that file now we are going to attach that file so by using this asset function this is the first way called asset inside this asset let me pass the path of this file save this back to browser and reload this page so we have successfully integrated or attached that CSS file okay so this is the first way and also if we suppose or oh, let's say that again if you remove this file from here save this file layout has been distorted and again we are going to use the alternative syntax and something this is the syntax inside this syntax let's say asset inside this asset we have to pass so let's say that this is a CSS file just copy and also for the alternative syntax we have removed from here and put it here and all we have done now so if I copy this syntax go to editor and replace with that okay save this file reload this page all we have attached that file also so successfully guys we have attached we can attach actually all CSS file by using this URL or asset so I am going to copy this asset and paste in front of all these files so paste it here paste it here and also paste it here and finally here and also we have to replace with this last syntax of this asset paste it here here and also let me paste it here all we have done with asset function inside this style file okay same we have to repeat inside this script file so let's say that here okay this is the last syntax back to style and I'm going to copy this syntax paste from next video session guys actually we are going to filter all the CSS and script files because there are a bunch of assets file as we can see that linked to this script and style file basically we are not actually using all these files okay we are going to make this application as simple as so we have to just remove all these files so these are the things we will do from our next video session okay so right now we are just attaching all these files properly to our blade function sorry blade template so I am pasting it here attach here
install up and finally I think that we have completed about the linking of this assets file properly to our style file and script file so if I save all these two files reload this page and all we have done now if we close this source code again press ctrl u now as we can see that inside this source code all the files which attached with the URL back to footer and these are the files that we have attached back to slide so basically guys this was the video actually we have seen about the assets file linking to blade functions using two blade functions called URL and asset where actually we can use two syntax according to these functions from the next video session guys we are going to clear all the assets file according to our need right now it is linked all the assets file like CSS and JavaScript for providing all the theme features but we are not going to use all these features we are going to use according to our need okay so we, we will just do this these things from our next video session so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day